Ospreay. She's an Emmy Award winning talk show legend. Give it up for the one and only Ricky Lake. Yeah. You can it's, put it down. You know, okay. that's an homage. It is back like going to, home. You going home back to you put, when you had your show. But from the doorbell to the audience, I was saying to them, I was like, "Don't you remember that so well?" Oh, it's yeah. like Pavlovian. It's yeah, it's stuck in my brain. I'd say, "Oh, I'm not expecting anybody. That must be for you." And it was usually some <laughs> like cheating boyfriend, DNA test, something, <laughs> something really life changing. That's when you lean in <laughs> like yeah. this to the program. But I can't believe it's been 30 years wow. since, since hairspray. You, since hairspray. Wow. And, yeah. Another nostalgic one you can watch over and over and over again. But you were only 18. I was 18. So, so I we shot the movie in '87. So I was 18. It came out in '88. Okay. So yeah, we just had the 30 year. I mean, John Waters and Debbie Harry and all the the cast. We all had a screening at the Academy of the Arts and Science. So we're the Oscars. You know, they did this big screening for us. It was really surreal. And for me, I brought my 17 year old to the screening. So he was basically the age I was when they made the film. Oh, wow. And it was a head trip. It's such a head trip because you have these life experiences that don't feel that long ago, and yet. Here I am, 50, you know? Wow. In a blink of an eye. You look That's fantastic. Oh. I said she doesn't age. Doing all. okay. Having a little extra weight, I think, helps with the aging process. Oh. Ricky, it does. You're yeah, looking good. Yeah, it's amazing. I can't get on board with this. Yeah. Thank you. But, and then when you were 24, you hosted your own talk show. Yeah. Wow. I mean, how many of you grew up yeah. with me? Yeah. Everyone. Yeah, and, no, I was 24. And you did, it for, like but you did it for 11 years. So yeah. we, we, do you have any advice for us? You guys are golden. Because I honestly, I told you, I'm genuinely a fan of you. Both Thank of you. you. You're authentic. You. I mean, I think the key is being relatable, likable, mm -hmm. a good listener. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I, you know, that's what worked for me. And I think you guys have a lot of the qualities that I think I had back in the day. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. No, I mean it. And, I, and I'm, I'm very discerning, you know? I can tell when someone's phony. I can tell when they're mm -hmm. not true to themselves. And so I really, I'm really fans of both ears. I love that seal of approval. <laughs> now, you just mentioned that you turned 50, which is still one that's not old, but mind-boggling that you look the way you do. But you went to Burning Man for your 50th? Um, well, yes, yes. But I'm going to... I'm going to be going to Burning Man for my 51st and my 52nd and my 53rd. It is literally the greatest place in really? the world. Really? The greatest place I've ever been. Yes. It's a, I've heard about it. You've heard about it? I've never gone. I've never gone. I see pictures. Oh, my God. There are pictures. I probably, they, they threw up pictures probably. Yeah, yeah. No, I, you, it's freedom of expression. There's, there's me and my, my posse. It's, it's, it's a magical community that comes together for one week out of the year, every year. It's a city. It's a full-on city. There's no commerce. There's no exchange of money. Everyone is at their highest five there. It's, it's just a magical place. That I, if, it, if it piques your curiosity. I, it does. It does. It's definitely, definitely a, an amazing place. People go with their kids. People go, you know, you can go sober. You can have a great time. You can, anything goes, literally. Right. And magic happens on the playa. Now, you have uh, two boys. I do. 17 and 21. 21. Yeah, you did your homework. Okay. I have one graduating from college. Milo, remember when I was pregnant with Milo? He is 21. He has a full beard. Unbelievable. What did they yeah. think of Burning Man Mom? Were I mean, like, can we come? I, yeah, no, I'd love, I would love for them to experience Burning Man, but I think it's less cool for them hearing it from their mother, you know? But They're going to hear it from their friends. No, but they don't see me as Ricky Lake. They see me as, you know, yeah, they don't know how cool their mother is. Maybe someday down. they'll go, because they it sounds will. spiritual. It's, it's everything. It is, it, is, it is truly one of the most life-changing experiences I've had. Well, if they oh, need wow. to hear how cool their mother is, have, her call, have them call yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk to them about that. <laughs> and we're going to talk about another one of your passion projects. It's hit theaters on Friday. It, your executive producer of this new documentary is called Weed the People. Weed with a D. Weed yes. with a D, the people. Which follows, it follows how families are affected by cancer yeah. and all of their options, including medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. and, and what is it like listening to these people who are telling their stories to you? It's been an unbelievable journey. So we started the film in 2012. We follow five families uh, with pediatric cancer, so all mm -hmm. children uh, suffering with, with cancer diagnoses. And they go on this journey to look at integrative medicine, including cannabis. And what we found through the five and a half years is remarkable. Remarkable. <sighs> cannabis was able to do both with the symptoms of yeah. chemotherapy and also shrinking tumors. With these, with these kids. Yeah, and it's really, like, my focus of my career of late has been this documentary work mm -hmm. where it's more issues and things that kind of 
I have a curiosity about and something that matters to me. And, and this is, and you know, the cannabis plant is so misunderstood. Yeah. And um, we all need to know what, what the powers of this plant is and why it was taken away from us and why it's a Schedule One drug. And, and really when it's the plight of these families, you know, yeah. you're just like, you're, you're in the story and you can't help but see yourself and feel for these children. And um, I'm so proud of it. It's my husband who passed away last year, Christian Evans. This was his passion project. This is his legacy. Wow. And so it's, it's, it's even more meaningful for me to present it to the world. And we want to take a look at a clip of yes, Weed please. the People. We just got the call. <laughs> there is some cell death. The tumor is actually dying in certain areas. There's no new growth. And, and it's, they said that they would like to be able to take credit for for it all, but they just don't know if they can. I'm just thrilled. This is the most amazing news we could have ever gotten. <laughs> She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. Oh my God. The medicinal strength in this specific category, because actually only about 5% of cancer research goes to pediatric cancer, so that's near and dear to my heart. But there's also medicinal marijuana for everything from mental health, which we talked about before. There's an organization, Bring Change to Mind. I'm involved with that group, yeah, because my husband uh, died from, from bipolar and, and death by suicide, and so I, it's obviously very near and dear to my heart. And cannabis really can be incredible for, for people suffering from anxiety, sleep issues, yeah. chronic pain. I mean, you, it runs the gamut. And it, you know, it's just so frustrating because the system, it's, a, it's, a, it's illegal federally, states, the laws are different mm -hmm. in every state, and there's no knowledge, there's no information about dosing and about, so, so we're hoping this movie could be the tipping point of really educating the public about this medicine and that it doesn't have to be psychoactive. These kids aren't getting high from their medicine. No. They're, they're yeah. literally just like healing getting themselves. Relief and getting exactly, relief. exactly, exactly, yes. Well, you know what? Hairspray, the Ricky Lake Show, now weed the people. Trust me, you've changed everything in a positive way, everything that you've done. Aww. Hey boys, oh your mom is really cool. Super cool. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here, to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.